And North American stocks taking a nosedive as a result of ongoing trade tensions between the U.S. and China. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more. And of course, Haley, we saw that dive start yesterday. What are we seeing today? Well, at the start of the day, it looks like the markets are poised for a bit of a recovery. And this follows remarks from President Trump late yesterday. He said to expect a swift resolution to U.S.-China trade challenges and that a trade deal could include some kind of a resolution on Huawei. We saw the markets react to that fairly positively overnight. But it doesn't erase concerns among investors that we could actually see the opposite. We might see protracted trade challenges between both countries. We could even see the U.S. levy more tariffs on Chinese goods. There is at this point no evidence to suggest that a trade deal is imminent. All we can do is really wait and see if the president's predictions prove true. All right. And you have some new numbers on just how much Canadian oil and gas companies made in the first quarter. That's right. And this is all thanks to higher oil prices. Oil and gas companies brought in $909 million in operating profit at the start of this year. That is about a $1.6 billion swing from what was a loss at the end of last year. We also have some data from Stats Canada about crude by rail transportation. At the end of 2018, about 340 barrels of oil were moving by train per day. That is more than double the level that we saw at the end of 2017. And that is impacted, of course, by capacity issues as well as a lack of options. Timely, of course, as we're expecting that BC Court of Appeal decision regarding the Trans Mountain Pipeline, having that project move forward would perhaps reduce the amount of crude moving by rail. That's something also to watch for today. Absolutely. All right, Haley Woodham with Business in Vancouver on this Friday. Thanks, Haley. Thanks, Sonia.